Hi all, in this video, let's see a lead code problem, a JavaScript coding challenge for which we need to rotate a matrix by 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. So let's first understand what is the problem and let's we write the code for that. So firstly, so we need to, we will be having an array like this. So this is a two by two matrix. So the input would be something like this and the output should be something like this in terms of programmatic, okay? But in terms of understanding this, if you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So clockwise direction rotation of 90 degrees. It means like seven will be like, if you take it as like in a cube, if you turn this clockwise, so seven comes at the top, one comes at the here and three comes to the down. So this is like a clockwise rotation, 90 degrees, fine. So this is a problem. If you clearly see the problem here, here one, two, three is a row, one, four, seven is a column, right? So if we decouple this problem, firstly, the rows are becoming the columns and the columns will become the rows. For example, one, four, seven is a column. If you see in the result, seven, four, one, it means this one, four, seven, the column should be converted into the row. Okay, uh, let me show you in here. This is a problem. So this should be converted something like this. So below here, you can see the image, okay? This 147, the column should be converted into the row first. And 257, this column should be converted as a row. 367, and this column should be converted as the row. And later, if we need something like this, see, we are very uh, close to the result. Here, once we convert the co columns into the rows, okay, then we need to reverse these rows. So if you see, if we reverse this row, 741, yes, we got the solution. If we reverse this row, 852, we got the result. So for, we have two steps here. One is to convert the columns into the rows. And the second thing is after that, we need to reverse the rows. So these are the two things we are going to do. As this is a two dimensional array, so think this in a, this way. So this is 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.1. So here the first zero. So if you see in the input, uh, this is a matrix, an array. So if it is an array, so the first element zero is also an array. The second element in the array is also an array. So this is a two by two matrix. So how to access the elements in this matrix is in this way. If you say the zero here, it means like an entire array. In this array, you want the zero eighth array. So in that way, you need to read this data. So now if you see this one, four, seven should be converted into this column should be converted into the row. It means here the zero and one, the row and the column, zero and one, zero is a row, one is a column. So this zero eighth row, first column, okay? And uh, first row, zero eighth column. It means like a first column. So it means this one and this, these two should be swapped, like two and four should be swapped and three and seven should be swapped. See, two zero, column is two, row is two and column is zero. Here, row is zero, column is two. So the, if these two are swapped, okay, then we'll be getting a picture something like this. So similarly, not just for this, for the other elements also, we need to do the same. So then this, with this swapping, we'll be getting this one. So first target will target this step, okay? Once we convert the columns into the rows and later we'll convert that rows into the reverse of the rows, okay? Firstly, like a, let me take in a function, rotate. And uh, this function will take a matrix, okay? This we no need to send. Uh, the lead code will be sending this automatically. So I'm, uh, okay. And now here, so I'm taking a constant. And so in which like we'll put the length of the matrix here. Okay, in this case, the length of the matrix for us is a three. So because uh, in this matrix, we have three elements. Okay, so the length of the matrix is three here. So now what we need to do, the first step is, so I will write in the comment, the first step we need to convert, convert the columns, okay? We need to convert the columns into rows, fine. Firstly, we'll take a two if loop for loops. So i is equal to zero, i less than n. So this is an outer loop. This outer loop is most commonly used for the rows, okay? So let me put this here. So this is for the rows. It takes rows and the inner inner for it would be for the columns. But in the inner for, if you take, I'm taking another variable j. 
and uh, j should be equal to i so till because why j should be equal to i means like uh, inner like uh, once we are done with all this element uh, swap then we'll go to the other element so before that if we go it's like we will be replacing the same elements with the other elements that's the reason we need to assign j with uh, i and now j should be less than i and j plus plus so this is about the columns okay so we need to complete all the columns in that row first so that's the reason we are going with this thing okay so this is out of the four rows this is a columns here in the columns we are taking this as i the reason behind this is first we need to complete that row then we need to go to the another row that's the reason we are first in that column we are swapping all the row elements first so we know in the uh, like in the latest destructuring so the swapping becomes a bit easy between the arrays let's say if we have 10 here and uh, b is 20 so if you wanted to swap these two elements so we can use array destructuring so something like this okay so now what happens so in the a you will be having 20 in the b you will be having 10 so this is and destructuring and where uh, you can easily swap like this so now we are going to do the same but a bit with the matrix okay now what i am doing matrix and uh, i am using two two here like a i and j okay this is one value we'll get only one value here okay and later i will use matrix so same like a, in the in this diagram if you see this zero zero one should be modified to one zero right so that's the reason it means like zero should be swapped with one and one should be swapped with zero so that's what we are doing so with the j so now i am putting j here and i so the, the elements will be swapped but with which with but with which values is like let me copy paste this again and i'm swapping the j i so now you got it i and j so here Fine. So let me comment it. Like, uh, let me explain you, like what uh, we wrote here. So the same, like what we have swapped here. Uh, this is a simple swap. But here, what we are doing is like for the first element, like a zero of zero, okay, and comma. It means like a zero comma zero. It's like a, we are picking the first element here. So here also, like we are doing the same. Like for this row, like zero 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 zero. Like here, we are picking one one row the first row and we are swapping this zero so all the zeros would be there i mean zero here and here we are swapping this with the column okay and that is what we are doing this is a with this step what happens all the columns will be converted into the rows got it so now let's see like how it looks so if i run this application so it should come like something like this see one four seven Two five eight three six nine. It means like if you see here, so this is something similar to this, right? It means like we have tried to revert, like uh, converted the columns into the rows. Next, we need to reverse this, like this is a row, right? We need to reverse this row. It means seven four one. We need to get, okay? So here also we will do the same swapping, but in a different way. So let me do the second step. So here, what we need to do is, so we we will reverse the rows will reverse the rows okay fine so let me take a for loop so here also i will be using the two for loops so the same one so let me copy paste this this is the outer for loop and uh, and uh, let me use the inner for loop so here uh, what happens is the real uh, code we need to write here in the inner for loop what we need to do i is equal to like j is equal to zero and now j should be less than so now we will not iterate through all the elements in the column so what we do is we will search for the medium number like a, what is a middle number okay and from then we'll stop so for example so let let me say like math dot float the reason behind this is like we are dividing this with the two so we're dividing the length of the matrix with the two so it may be 1.5 in our case now that 1.5 should become one with this math dot floor okay so now I will explain you like why we are doing this. So with this, what happens is here, 
j is less than this value it means the j no need to iterate all the elements in the column okay it it can go to one element so for example so it can go to this part and now what happens is uh, 147 okay so 147 so it means like it it no need to go through all the elements so that's the reason we have doing n by 2 it means we need half of the elements okay once half of the elements we reached, we understand which elements to be swapped from that element. For example, we are here. So it means one should be swapped with seven, seven should be swapped with one. This swap, only one swap. If there are four by four matrix, then we need to do two, two swaps, but we are not iterating over all the elements. We are stopping at one iteration and we are, by that iteration, we'll know all the left elements should move to the right and right elements should be moving to the left so that the reverse would be completed. So that's what we need to do. So here, th that's the reason we wrote this logic here. When we can iterate only half of the path, we don't need to iterate complete things. So now we'll do the same, like we'll do the same iteration, like a same swap. So matrix i comma j, but here we'll do one thing. So once this is the first element, for example, if you see here, the one should go to the seventh place, but seven should come to the one place, right? But how we can know the seventh index? One index we can know i and j or zero, zero, zero. So we can get i one index easily, but how to know the seven index? Okay, that seven index we need to know and we need to swap with that seven index. How to know that seven index? So let me show you the matrix. So it is i, so because we are in the first row and now in the column, we need to calculate the which column it is. So we need to calculate which column it belongs to. Okay. Obviously, if this is the first element, this should be the last element, right? In order to swap the swap. Okay. If you see like seven is here, one is here. Okay. It means like we know one index, it is zero, zero. But seventh in seven index is seven number index is we don't know because it is a three by three matrix. We can like directly write it, but the solution should be uh, feasible for all n by n matrix or other different matrix as well. So that's the reason we need to identify what is the last index of element. So for that reason, n minus one I'm doing. n minus one means, n means length of the matrix. Minus one means, so length of the matrix, usually we get three, but index, last index will be two, right? Two should be the last index of a three matrix. Two should be the last index because zero, one, two. That's the reason n minus one and minus j. The j means like now j will be zero. So that's the reason we will get this element. Okay. And in the next iterations, j becomes, j will be incremented. So the cursor should move front. So that's the reason the j, we are including j here as well. So the same, like uh, we can write the same here. So the swap should happen like this. And uh, we'll put this. At the end perfect so i hope you understand like n minus one why we wrote it's like a length of this one minus one will give you the required required the required uh, last element minus j is like you need to move the cursor from backward to the frontward okay so that's the reason we use this so now let's see this yep Oh no, it is not working. So let me check this. Oh, I think we need to write, we wrote this outside the for loops. Yep. We need to go here. We need to write it. Perfect. Yep. Now it will work. Yep. See, we got this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the output is like what they have asked. Okay. So hope you understand the video. So let me reiterate once what we have did. The first step, we have converted all the columns into the rows. So for that, we have used this, th this thing. So this is what we have swapped the rows into the columns. And in the second step, like we have used this, I have explained why n by two, because n by two means like till half of the path, if you reach, that is enough for the J. J no need to iterate through all the elements because half iteration, it needs to move all the elements from the left to the right. So that's the reason n by two and n minus one minus j is like the last element you are finding. And from there, you are swapping the other elements from the first. So this is what we need to do. Okay, hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.